Breaking, Alabama Race Not Over. Look what just happened. On Tuesday Alabama's special election for Attorney General Jeff Sessions' former seat came to an end, and Democrats were handed a major upset victory in the state, but things aren't exactly over yet. As many are aware, the victory for Democrats last night was only by a razor-thin margin. In fact, it was by just over a full percentage point, with Doug Jones beating out Judge Roy Moore by only 1.5 percent, which wasn't enough to trigger an automatic recount, but was enough for Moore to state he's not exactly taking this one line down. In fact, Moore didn't concede the race to Jones but instead said that he and his campaign are going to look into having the race recounted for accuracy. That's probably not a bad move considering Democrats are known for fraud and somehow Jones was able to make up a 26 percentage point gap from the presidential election last year, where President Trump trounced Hillary Clinton. Jones received 49.9 percent of the vote with 671,151 ballots cast in his favor. With 650,436 ballots on his side, Moore came in at 48.4 percent. When the vote is this close, it is not over, Moore said. Moore went on to tell his supporters to put their faith in God as the process plays out. We've still got to go by the rules about this recount provisions, we also know that God is always in control. Despite Moore not conceding the race, President Trump took the opportunity to show the Democrats a thing or two about accepting election results. Within minutes of the election being called, he took to Twitter to send a congratulatory tweet to Jones while reminding his supporters that Alabama will have the chance to replace Jones in just a couple of years. Congratulations to Doug Jones on a hard-fought victory. The right-in votes played a very big factor, but a win is a win. The people of Alabama are great and the Republicans will have another shot at this seat in a very short period of time. It never ends. Meanwhile, President Trump also stated that he didn't think Moore was going to win from the get-go, which is why he endorsed Luther Strange in the primaries. The reason I originally endorsed Luther Strange, and his numbers went up mightily, is that I said Roy Moore will not be able to win the general election. I was right. Roy worked hard but the deck was stacked against him. Moore's loss was a devastating blow to the president, who's been trying to get major policy initiatives through the Senate for the past year but lacked key votes at critical times. However, many people don't think the election was exactly fair as Moore faced an onslaught of unproven allegations of sexual misconduct, which people rightly stated will fade into the darkness as the accusers are no longer useful to the leftist media. Either way, with Moore promising to contest the election, this thing is far from over. Whether or not he's successful remains to be seen, however, it's probably a good idea to ensure every vote was legally cast, considering that Democrats were quite literally encouraging people from out of state to cross the border and vote illegally. Legally.